Hello boys and girls. Today I'm going to read Lyle at the Office by Bernard Weber. Lyle's a crocodile. Everybody thought Lyle the crocodile was funny. Not silly funny or funny looking, just plain funny. There he is. Looks like he's in a city, big city. And wherever he went, Lyle always made people smile and forget their troubles. At the supermarket, shoppers perked up the instant they saw Lyle. Look how well, they're all smiling. They're so happy to see Lyle. Even the little girl. We show off a while a job, said the store's manager. Then we could always count on having happy customers. In the park, frowns turned to big, big smiles the minute Lyle appeared especially when he performed his tricks. Do you suppose Lyle would consider working for us? asked the Parks Commissioner. Our parks can use more cheer these days. And once, a man wanted to use a smiling picture of Lyle in a toothpaste advertisement. It's like a commercial. Listen to this, said the man. Smile like Lyle. Now isn't that catchy? No thank you, the prims always answered politely, but firmly. Lyle is happy with his life, just as it is. Lyle was happy, all right. Living with Mr. and Mrs. Prim, their children Joshua and Miranda, Joshua and Miranda, and his dear mother, Felicity, also a crocodile, his mother was, or Nurse Felicity, as she was known at the hospital where she worked. So nurse, she was a nurse. Lyle loved to entertain the family. As he did one night parading around in the pirate costume, he would soon be wearing for Halloween. joyful house, made even more joyful by the arrival of the baby Miranda. There's little Miranda. Oh, Lyle looks like he likes to have fun with her. He's pushing her on a swing here. Lyle adored showing off pictures of Miranda to everybody. And he almost burst with pride and did three somersaults when his name was among the first words Miranda learned to say. Lyle. Lyle, she would coo to him. Yes, it was a good life, especially for a crocodile. And good things were always happening. One day, Mr. Prim took Lyle along for a visit to his office. Mr. Prim knew how eager Lyle was to visit and how much everyone at the office wanted to meet Lyle. So here they're going in a taxi cab off to Mr. Prim's job. Lyle gleefully waved goodbye as the two set off for work. Oh, there's his mom, Nurse Felicity, at the window waving goodbye to Lyle. They're in traffic in a big city. As usual, as usual, morning traffic was heavy. There's Lyle. After much beeping and honking, Mr. Prim and Lyle finally arrived at the office building. It was fun going through the revolving doors. Lyle went round and round and round. He loved pressing the elevator button. Up, up, up they went. Here he is in the elevator, going to Mr. Prim's job, his office. Everyone in the office was so happy to see Lyle. Lyle quickly made himself useful. He sharpened pencils, he delivered memos, which is like notes, same as notes. And he operated the copy machine like we have at Smith Clove. He made so many friends, they all commented on his good manners. Lyle even sat in on a very important office meeting. There he is. He enjoyed an excellent lunch. 
and delightful company in the office cafeteria, and Lyle had two slices of pizza and an orange drink. Best of all, Lyle visited the company's daycare center. Oh, look. People who worked at the office got to bring their children to a daycare center there. He spent much of the day joyfully playing with and amusing the children there. Oh, look how much fun it looks like he's having, building blocks, basketball, reading a book to the kids. Oh, how nice. They're painting, playing with the kitchen set. We have a kitchen set in our classroom in Mrs. Cote's class. But when it was time to say goodbye, the children cried, we don't want to, we want Lyle to stay. Please, Lyle, promise to come back. And some of the parents wanted it too. Sadly, Lyle waved goodbye to the children and returned to Mr. Prim's room. Mr. Prim was busy trying to think up new ideas for crispy, crunchy, crackle cereal. That was Mr. Prim's job, thinking up ideas. But at the moment, Mr. Prim had no idea whatsoever. Absolutely none. Mr. Prim made commercials for cereal. And the, this particular cereal was called Crispy Crunchy Crackles Cereal. Feeling rather empty, Mr. Prim shared a sample box of Crispy Crunchy Crackles with Lyle. Pop, crunch, crackle, crackle, crunch. Although Lyle tried to be quiet about it, everybody was startled by the loud popping, crunching, crackling sounds he made chewing crispy, crunchy crackles. Pop, crunch, crackle, crackle, crunch. Even Mr. Big, who was Mr. Prim's boss and a busy, busy person at that, heard him chewing all the way down the hall. Who was making that racket? shouted Mr. Big. Here's Mr. Big. And everybody looked upset with all that crazy crunching sound. Mr. Big quickly discovered it was Lyle who, who was making the racket. He was so surprised. Dear, does Lyle really like eating crispy, crunchy crackles, asked Mr. Big. Of course, said Mr. Prim. Doesn't everybody? Suddenly, Mr. Big's face lit up. It lit up the way it always lit up whenever Mr. Big had a brainstorm. That's it, that's it, said Mr. Prim. Our new slogan will be, everybody but everybody loves crispy, crunchy crackles. And we'll put Lyle's picture on the cereal box. How's that for a terrific idea, said Mr. Brent Big. Oh, no, said Mr. Prim. Oh, yes, said Mr. Big. But you can't put Lyle's picture on a cereal box, said Mr. Prim. And why not, said Mr. Big? Because, well, Lyle is a very private co crocodile. Nonsense. No such thing as private. I'll call the photographers at once. This is dynamite, said Mr. Big. I can see it now, said Mr. Big, Lyle smiling, holding a bowl filled with delicious, nutritious, crispy, crunchy crackles in one hand, a gleaming spoon in the other, saying, yum, 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 oh, how I love my crispy, crunchy crackles. There he is on that cereal box, but that's just in Mr. Big's imagination. It's not true. Didn't really, didn't really happen. <clears throat> Lyle will never say, yum, yum, yummy, yum, yum, said Mr. Prim, nor will his picture be on a cereal box. We'll discuss that later, said Mr. Big, dialing the photographers. We won't ever discuss it, said Mr. Prim, walking out with Lyle. Where are you going with Lyle, called Mr. Big. Prim, come back here, Prim, Prim. Sir, consider yourself dismissed. A fuming Mr. Big shouted after them, and that goes for your Lyle crocodile, too, he added rather foolishly. He fired Mr. Prim. He told him not to come back to work. He was so angry that he wouldn't let Lyle be on the cereal box. When the family heard about it, Joshua thought it might have been a really neat and great fun for the kids to have Lyle's picture on thousands of cereal boxes, but Mr. Prim definitely agreed with Miss Miss but Mrs. Prim definitely agreed with Mr. Prim. No cereal boxes, she said, and no job, said Mr. Prim. We all do just fine, thank you, said Mrs. Prim. And the family did do just fine. Each soon found a way to earn money. Joshua earned money walking dogs. Lyle took plant-sitting jobs. 
He would go to people's houses and water their plants when they weren't home. Maybe they were on vacation. Felicity, his mother, Lyle's mother, put in extra hours at the hospital. Mrs. Prim worked late into the night in her home office. She wrote about new books for a neighborhood newspaper, and every day Mr. Prim looked for a new job. Meanwhile, back at the office, everyone missed Mr. Prim, even Mr. Big. And the daycare center children kept asking for Lyle. They wanted their friend Lyle back. More, cheer, more cheerfully, the family had so much to look forward to for Halloween, and at long last, the big night of Halloween arrived. Lyle finally got to wear his pirate costume. Joshua dressed up as a monster. And Miranda was an adorable little witch. Mr. and Mrs. Prim and Felicity accompanied them trick-or-treating. Trick-or-treat, trick-or-treat, they called out as doors swung open and their, big, their bags filled with Halloween goodies. Vampire, and I don't know if that's an astronaut. Hmm. Oh. <clears throat> but there was one doorbell they dared not ring. That bell belonged to the rundown, gloomy house they were just passing. What a pity, said Mrs. Prim about the house. It's been empty for years, said Mr. Prim. That's because it's haunted, said Joshua. Everybody knows there are ghosts inside. Ghosts! Lyle's eyes widened. And do you know what Joshua went on? Cries for help have been heard coming from inside the house. Oh, Joshua, said Mrs. Prim. It does look like a scary house. I think it's a, more like a building. Mrs. Prim was about to add, that's just gossip, when suddenly, in fact, they heard cries for help coming from the house. What was that? said Mr. Prim. Help! Help! Those are real cries, said Mrs. Prim. Prim. Hello in there, called Mr. Prim. Help! Help! A voice called back, even though he was scared silly of ghosts, Lyle pushed in the door only to discover... Mr. Big! Well, at the moment, it seemed he was busy clinging for dear life to a ceiling light fixture. Help, help, cried Mr. Big. My ladder has fallen, and I can't get down. Wow. Lyle set the ladder upright and helped a very shaken Mr. Big come down. Oh, Lyle, everyone, thank you, thank you, said Mr. Big. You saved my life. I was here all alone, putting up light bulbs in this house which I will soon be moving into. When you're moving into this house, they exclaimed. Everyone was so surprised. Well, welcome and good luck in your new home, said Mr. Prim. Thank you, said Mr. Big. And good luck with the ghosts, thought Lyle. Day after day, the family watched Mr. Big as he renovated his house. That means made it look nicer. Before long, the old neglected house was sparkly bright. It looked so nice, Lyle began to wonder if it was still haunted. One day, a letter from Mr. Big arrived in the house on East 88th Street. Mrs. Prim read the letter. Dear Prims and dear Lyle and Felicity, please come to my housewarming party. It's next Saturday afternoon at 2. And the letter was signed, your neighbor and friend, I hope, Alwyn Power Big III. P.S. You can call me Al. Everyone from the office party came, and most especially the daycare children. Here they are, hanging out with Lyle. Please consider coming back to work, Mr. Big, said Mr. Prim. We need you and we miss you. And, <clears throat> well, just forget all about having Lyle's picture on cereal boxes. Gem of an idea, though, it was. Oh, and most important, would you assert, we would certainly expect more visits to the office from Lyle. Everyone smiled. Especially Lyle. So, 
that had a very happy ending. Lyle was wanted back, and his Mr. Prim was wanted back at the office, and everyone lived happily ever or after. Okay, thanks for listening to Lyle, Lyle Crocodile. Oh, well, this is Lyle at the office, and it's Lyle the Crocodile. Bye, guys.